Okay, the lost village. But at least my idea was correct. Well, we're in the lost village of the Aztecs. I suppose it's... well, I did point out that uh, he already saw uh, that his memory from being in this region, so I suppose this kind of fits. Uh, let us save. Save game. Um, let's... ninth. This is sector 8, apparently. Lost village. It doesn't really matter what chapter it is, I... Return to game. These people have called me. I heard their voices. Okay. These people have... These people... Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. Alrighty. Let's talk to her then. From there, apparently. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirit, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand. Oh, Mech, the holy warrior. Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. Olmec. That's fun. History lessons. Oracle. Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. So, what has happened in the village? What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, holy one. He has returned. To what nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. <laughs> oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Uh huh. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, not sure. Uh, not able to pronounce it correctly. Quetzalcoatl. If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. He is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. That's quite bad. Temples. The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Warriors. Your tale told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land. Trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one. They are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They rant only crazed things in the voices of ghosts. Interesting. I suppose we're gonna be going and exploring. The Wall of Sorrow. Images which tell the story of this village. Well, that's intriguing. Let us go then. Not fall in the water. Mm. These are the sacred fires. Sacred fires. These are the sacred fires. Can I have a sacred fire? Nah. Uh, there's some kind of interesting. His soul still dwells here. Yes. Let's talk to him. Apparently from far away. We can only talk. Spirit, what say you? Shame. Eternal shame. Died in vain. Why did you die in na vain? Oh, nameless warrior. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? I said, oh, bearer of war, son of Tezikadala, Lily 
is witch. Mm-hmm. Witch? You are the son of Tetsukatl? Yes. Wise. Elder. Warrior. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Veteran of many battles. Younger. Shame. Why do you hang your head in shame, brave one? Could not defeat one warrior. All our clan failed to stop just one man. Just one man. All right. Too loud sand. Stepping stones. I oh, we can't go there probably at least not from here. So what's this all they about? They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue, and he repays them with destruction. Hmm. Who is this spirit? Why did he disappear? That's mean. He's probably gonna come back after I'm far away enough, or something. Ah, oh, here's this someone. This spirit is restless for justice. Spirit, what say you? Village doomed my dishonor. Name. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Omitok, the fierce one. Fearless. How did you earn such a title, Shade? Fought like wild jaguar in battle. Mm -hmm. Warrior. What was your station as warrior, spirit? New blood. Young to tribe. Yet not the youngest. Older than zero men. Huh. Don't. Fear not, young warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought our clan. Quick to battle. Did we run? Quick to die. Well, if it's supposed to be a god, so to speak, then it's no wonder that you didn't manage to kill him. Big totem pole. Yes. An unhappy spirit. Unhappy spirit. Spirit, what say you? Heart, totem, honor to stay true. Name. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Epic Hawk. Hunt the waters. Bounty of. A fisherman? Okay. Yes, and warrior, and husband. Lots of spirits here, totem. Why do you stand here, fallen one? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. Okay, temple of the winds. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. Lies and deceptions, like the evil one, none may pass. All seek to destroy. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Husband. Who was your wife? She was my heart. Well, that's usually I the meant case. Her name. What is her name? You'll not harm her, you will. Me. 
warrior. What was your station as a warrior, spirit? Young, I was much older than Omitok. How does this all... What I'm supposed to do with this kind of knowledge is... Okay, well, test. What I test? accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If never given, I... Well, what do I need to give to her? A gift for your wife? Of what kind? Limits, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... is blocked perhaps yes. another time I thought so simple pottery which is of no use to us the unholy one's power must be great indeed ooh flies innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god yes gods can be evil and mean huh huh there's a woman Simple pottery. Yes, yes. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? Why couldn't it be? Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Witchel Godel, husband. Who was your husband? His name was Tepic Talk. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. I have met your husband just now, actually, so you're the one I need to be giving a necklace as soon as I can. Find some. I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Yes, goodbye for now. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. Okay, I so cannot go. We shall use it for sacrifices as well, I'm sure. Uh, Huts of the ruined village. Yes. Well, he'll talk to that one very soon, too. Why does this woman worry so? Why wouldn't she? Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes. Your prayers reach me, and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Wife of the chieftain, okay. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? He was praying inside the temple of the jaguar when the evil one came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl, and now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. Oh well, maybe it's good to have at least one man alive if most went and died. What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. Mm, magic? What, what kind magics of... did he wield? 
He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the temple of water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, bearing the temple of wind. Only the temple of the jaguar withstood his power. So one temple is at least still in here, so to speak. Tradition. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec, oh wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. I can understand that. Olmec doesn't necessarily though. Village. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts, but his mind is elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. Well, that is very understandable, that. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroyed the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. Then maybe she does. Maybe we can find him, her, I mean. Uh, nothing else. Uh, okay. You have to be the shift, and then... Such destruction. Much of the original village seems to be buried beneath the rocks. Lots of talking again. This lowly worker appears strong and proud. Yes, shift, I'm sure. You there! What is your station? <laughs> I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? Yes. I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. Well, I didn't hear a summoning before, at least. Late. You say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. And you come to us now? The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. Daughter? You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I've lost everything that is dear to me. You haven't lost your five. So she wasn't dear to you? You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. Quetzalcoatl. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death, we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. Hmm, interesting. So, necklace? Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetak, warrior and husband to Kalkihut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. Good. Thank you very much. Mm, mm, anything else I can do here? I think we're gonna be saving now. Save game. I don't know why I always press the wrong button. And just there. That's fine. Return to game. Okay. Have you caught into necklace? Well, I don't know. I don't really say. 
A truly venerable woman. Truly. Old woman, what say you? <laughs> I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point, I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband, the fool. Who caught himself killed, I assume. What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? <laughs> ha! Tezakatl, the witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. Hmm. Errand? What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed and will die in vain. Not if I can stop it, warriors. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. I'm sorry for you. What potion are you making? What is that you are mixing? Nothing important, holy one. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. Hmm. Why can't I have it? I want a potion. Uh, oh, I suppose the spirit has completely disappeared now. No, there you are. Stupid spirit. Coming and going. Necklace. I have spoken with the mason dead one. He will deliver the gift as promised. other areas a little bit more though before I will be heading in that direction. Uh, this might actually be the place that... Most sacred warrior, you must find blood that springs from a holy heart and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you and then you may enter the temple of the Jaguar. Okay, this is the temple of the Jaguar. A sacrificial bowl. It is caked with dried blood. This must be the Jaguar Temple. Oh, that's interesting. An empty copper bowl. It must have... So I can take blood into that, probably. Okay, let's go and see if there was anything in the upper part of the map still. There probably wasn't, but just to make sure... Well, there was that one spirit at least, so... This one appears to have died very young. And here's apparently a spirit. Spirit, what say you? One battle died, never to see honor on battlefield. That is a sad fate, though. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Xylonen, the youngest warrior of clan. Unproven. Well, it cannot really be helped when this happened right now. Was this but your first battle? And last. Never to fight again. Warrior. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Youngest of clan. Fierce. I fought. But... Well, if you didn't die first, then that's already something. Doomed. Honor comes with courage, young spirit. 
Your courage at such a young age is honorable. Walk with head held high. I cannot dishonor or die in first battle. Curse me for eternity. You should remember that you were fighting a god. It's kind of different than fighting men. Innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. I, I can't use. Yes, I thought so. Big head. <laughs> Big head. So that's all you're gonna say from that. Big head. Yes, it's a big head. Big head. So this is probably the place where Quatu oh. is. Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. That is no good. Scalding lake of lava. A tree growing in the lava. Well, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna talk to he you before you disappear. has been slain by the evil god. Yes, talk. Spirit, what say you? Failed. All. Could not defeat one. Name? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Mixcoatl. Eldest war chief. Elder brother to Witzelop. Chief. You were the war chief? Yes. Victorious in many battles. Well, it cannot be held against God, though. What was your station as warrior spirit? War chief. Eldest warrior. Do you judge yourself a failure? How can that be when you have died in honor on the battlefield? Honor not! Failed village! Defeated by only one man! All of these spirits are just as critical, self critical as I am, usually speaking. Too self-critical. What does this noble warrior seek? Why are you there? Surely there is an a tree growing in the lava. Mm, very interesting looking tree. Can I get there in any way? Probably not before I go and uh, get to the other temple. But I think this is a good spot to be ending this recording for now. So I shall see you next time to visit some temples and see about more of these troubles in the Aztec village. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you would like and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.